Um, everybody else is good, and uh, I talked to Andre. He, he doesn't think it's anything too serious. So, uh, and then you guys know are aware that Kevin and Quinn uh, did not practice. You're aware of that. Or they traveled uh, east for the uh, memorial service for uh, Cliff, their friend. So they traveled last night? Last night, post-game, I believe, is when they left. Mm -hmm. And the That's service is uh, today, and they'll fly back this afternoon. That's a little Andre. What's Andre's status for tomorrow, Raymond? <laughs> Call him questionable. All right. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. Hey, Steve, I know we've been talking about this all year, but this is the last regular season week at Oracle. Yeah. Any particular memories stand out to you, either as a player, a broadcaster? Or a um, some of each. Um, I would say the number one moment is um, beating Houston in the game five of 15 playoffs. Um, for whatever reason, that memory stands out even more so than winning the title in 17 at Oracle. Um, I guess just because. You know, it was so unexpected. You know, we knew we were going to be pretty good, but I don't think any of us really knew we could actually go to the finals and win a championship. So, game five, I just remember there was about a minute left, and we were up 12 or something, so it was kind of apparent that the game was over. And just soaking in the emotion from everybody, the crowd, uh, the, uh, our, our players, our coaches, and I just, I stood at half court and just kind of looked. I just scanned the whole building. And I, my, I, uh, you know, my, my goosebumps were everywhere. And, you know, hair standing up on the back of my neck, like everything just, wow, this is really happening. And there was a bigger context to that too, because I'm a basketball fan and I had remembered coming in here many times as a player um, and as a broadcaster where, you know, Warriors aren't going to the finals, right? You know, that's not happening, and, but it happened. And, and so that, that big picture uh, awareness, you know, that this was 40 years in the making and knowing how great our fans have been and how much people love basketball in the Bay Area, that, that moment it all came together and it's like, wow, this is, it doesn't get any better. And then it did because we won the championship. <laughs> <laughs> and then it kept, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in your mind, how big is tomorrow's game? I mean, it's, still, it's a regular season game. I'm how, sorry? How big is tomorrow's game? I mean, it's a regular season game, but you know, there's some implications. Yeah, I mean, it's a big game. Um, nothing is as big as a playoff game, but um, it's, uh, it's a big game in terms of, um, you know, the number one seed and protecting our home court and uh, – we take care of our our business and and win tomorrow we're obviously in great shape down the stretch uh, with the last you know whatever 10 days of the season so that we can um, prepare for the playoffs the best way we can how much have you seen that element help these last few weeks with what element the possibility of seating the guys interested in um I mean, I, I think uh, be, because we're in the very final stage of the season, I think our guys are uh, are more focused. But um, you know, that, it doesn't guarantee anything. I mean, we got beat by 40 how, 10 days ago by Dallas. So it's not like this has been you know a long stretch where we've been dialed in. But um, I sense there's a there's a more of a sense of urgency now and I, th I think we'll come out and play well. Uh, I'm here with a switch is present. So I'm curious to hear what you think about John Webco's season and his role in the team. Can, has it been what you expected, what you hoped for? It's been exactly what I had hoped for and, and expected. Um, Jonas has been really, really solid. Um, he's got a difficult role because he doesn't know if he's going to play or not. Um, but it's the role we talked about when we signed him, that uh, he might be in the rotation, he might be out, but he's always going to stay ready. And as a coach, you love having players like that who are very professional and stay prepared and support the team. And then all of a sudden they have to play. And, um, you know, like two weeks ago in Minnesota, he, he hadn't played in a month. 
and I put him out there and he scores 18 points and so guys like that help the, the foundation of the team and help help uh, keep things rolling. How important will that be coming into the playoffs? Uh, same concept you know in the playoffs um, you just you always have to stay ready and you never know when you're in that role and I know because I played that role sometimes um, where I wasn't in the rotation and then you know got a chance to play you just have to stay ready and and you may have an impact and uh, so he, I know I know I can count on Jonas that's the main thing all right thanks everybody thanks,